guys, Tacoma Comics here. Uh, this morning I got time to knock out a video. I wanted to kind of combine a couple. So this is going to be a 100 subscriber appreciation contest for Bubs Comics. Check them out. Link down there. Awesome guys doing some awesome stuff. Um, sub them up please. Really great channel. Good content. Uh, he's already at like 180 or something. So, you know, this stuff flies fast. Um, so I'm going to combine his contest with uh, a video I wanted to do about one of uh, the runs that I'm trying to collect, see if I can put them together. So for his contest, uh, 18 and over, don't I look over 18? I think so. Um, subscribe to his channel, already got that, you guys should too. And then you want to make sure that you uh, link your video to the comments in his video. Uh, and then finally, the actual contest is to, it's called Show Your Zeros or something like that. And you want to show off comics, your favorite comics that have zeros in the issue number. You can show up to five comics, but for every zero, you get um, an entry. So I think I've got ten entries coming up here, uh, five comics, all with double zeros in them. So you can do like an issue 001, issue 100, um, a 150, a 20, anything would count, um, a 002. If you got Action Comics, and I think the thousands coming out after his video closes on April 1st, so nobody can sneak that one in, but maybe that's what inspired him to do this. So anyway, um, as you know, I'm a huge Miss Marvel fan, and I'm going to do a follow-up video to this to explain why um, this 46-year-old guy likes a comic that's aimed at, at uh, perhaps the younger generation, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, here is my first entry. This is Miss Marvel, uh, Volume 3, Number zero zero one um i absolutely love this love the poster where you could like pretend that you're part of it of the cover i thought it was a really cool cover uh, i believe it's adrian alfana on on the cover as well as on the interior artwork uh this one's signed by g willow wilson so that is um number one first printing i'm showing off the second printing this is technically not an entrance into the the contest uh, so, so far, that's only an entry into the contest. I want to show off my whole run here, so that's why I've got some here that are not in the entry because I usually double bag stuff. Uh, this is an entry. This is probably my absolute favorite. Um, it's Art Adams doing what he does best, just doing beautiful uh, artwork. Um, I love this black and white cover. I just think it's awesome. This is another 001 issue you can see down there. 001, so that would be my, my second entry for four zeros, or sorry, my second comic for my fourth entry. I love the McKelvey design variant. I still have yet to get an answer to the question about whether or not this is really a secret compartment um, or if that's just an idea that got thrown out. I have not seen it used yet, uh, but it's there on issue 001, variant edition. Uh, and so I really want to know, I, and I love I love this one because the costume, you know, the design has remained pretty similar. Um, clearly, Miss Marvel has longer hair. Kamala Khan's got longer hair than than this, but you know, when you're starting out, you're not exactly sure how characters are going to look. They're still developing, so I thought this was really really cool. Um, and I like how this the scarf is referenced over here as being part of um, the original Captain Marvel uh, throwback. So that's pretty cool. So there is my third comic with my sixth entry. I'm going to throw this one out there. Uh, this was the first cover appearance, the, sorry, the second cover appearance with her in costume right here and inside is a story. It's the first story um, and this is another 001. Uh, thanks Marvel for helping me out here. So this is my fourth comic and my eighth entry. Uh, it's just two copies of that. And then finally, what did I have over here? Um, I guess I'm not going to do that one. That one shouldn't be there. That's from Volume 4. Sorry. Uh, this one's from Volume 4, too, but I'm going to put this out there. This is my fifth comic, um, 008, and I absolutely love the cover to this variant edition. Um, this is from Volume 4, if I did not say that already, and just the way she's looking off into the crowd, there's this element of confidence in this uh, drawing, but there's also this element of Miss Marvel always self-doubting herself, um, not sure if she's the superhero that she's always idolized, um, 
And that kind of runs through all of G. Willow Wilson's work with Miss Marvel. Um, this, this, this girl who relies on her friends and family for support. She takes on big challenges, but she's not always sure if she's up to it. But then she remembers that she's a hero and that's what heroes are supposed to do. So I think this, this cover kind of embodies all that. And obviously she's imagining herself as a president here. Great variant cover. So those are my, uh, my five entries. Or my five comics, one, two, three, four, and five. All zero zero ones or zero zero eight in, in the last case. So that should be ten entries. So Bub, thanks a lot for a great contest. Uh, and congratulations again on getting over one hundred subscribers. Now I'm gonna switch this video and keep going since I got my Miss Marvels out of the box. Um, I'm gonna show off some of them and go through my entire run. So on the uh, volume three. There is, uh, number one, there was seven printings, eight printings, actually, sorry. Um, there was the Melina, uh, sorry, there was the costume design, and then there were the two art atoms. I don't have the color version of this. Uh, that's just going to have to be an eBay purchase when I've got some, some money to search down a good one. Uh, I've got the first printing, obviously, and I've got the second printing of number one. There's a second printing. They basically just changed the colors on these. I've got the third printing. And then they call this one the third printing sketch. I don't know why they just don't call it the fourth printing, but this is the third printing sketch uh, one. And I thought that was really, really cool. Um, I, I absolutely love the detail on that. It's just, that's really awesome. And just the colors, the black and white with a little bit of, I don't know, it's purplish. Um, I just thought that was really cool. I have the fourth printing on the way. Now, so they go third, third sketch, fourth. If you count the third sketch as the fourth and the fourth is the fifth, there is nothing labeled fifth printing. They don't have a number one issue that says fifth printing. I don't know why. But anyway, here is um, the sixth printing. I got two copies of that. Here's the seventh printing, which I also, this apparently is also a sketch, but it's not referred to as the sketch. It's just the seventh printing. Um, and then the eighth printing is the True Believers. So all that for number one, just missing, like I said, the, uh, the fourth and the Art Adams um, color. Anybody has those, let me know. I'm willing to make a trade. I'm willing to buy them if the price is decent, but I'd, I'd love to trade. I said I've got extra copies of stuff. I'll show you extra copies here, and I've got quite a few comics, so I might have something you need. There's issue two. Again, the first like four or five issues in this run had just classic covers. Really, really great. A spotlight behind it, kind of the darkness there. I like that. I don't have issue two second printing. I do have issue two third printing. I don't have issue two fourth printing, and I'm going to cut to a screenshot. I don't have the Molina variant for issue two. That is by far the rarest and most expensive uh, comic. That's talking like probably six hundred dollars. You, know, you see a lot of them listed about eight or nine hundred, but if you go down to uh, you know make an offer or whatever, you probably get it for about six hundred, which is way above what I'm spending on comics right now. Uh, so. Somebody has that, and I've got something they want. I mean, I'm willing to part with some of my good stuff. You've seen a lot of my hauls, and just let me know. That's something I would love to get a hold of. That's just a great comic. Take a look. Told you. Really good, right? Okay. Um, number three, first printing. Number three, second printing. And then there is the Wu variant. You know, some of the variants have names based on characters that they are, and some have um, variants named based on the artists. Uh, so the Wu variant is another one I'm missing. That I'm not too worried about. I, I can get that at a decent price, but if somebody has it, again, I prefer to trade, give somebody a good comic for a good comic that they want, rather than, you know, just spend money and give eBay sellers stuff. Um, number three. Oh, that, sorry, I didn't show. There's the third printing. Okay, so again, it's just a, a color variant from uh, first to second to third. I'm switching up colors. Number four, 
just went to two printings and I got them both. And again, really love that. There's your family, Abu and everybody sitting down there looking out the window. And I think that's your brother. What the heck is going on? And there's her mom just eating. And then uh, she's flying away doing her superhero thing. Number five. I don't have the second printing of number five. I think I've passed that up a bunch of times in half price book stop bookstore, just not realizing. Uh, number six. Number six had a second printing. And number six had a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, variant. There it is. I always like this cover too. You know, down here you've got Rocket and Groot. I think this is Drax and Star Lord. I, if I get my names wrong, please help me out. And I can't remember who's falling here, but I like that little action sequence going down there. It's pretty cool. I like Guardians, but I'm not like a massive Guardians fan, so I apologize. Number seven, um, you know, G. Willow Wilson pointed out that this storyline was when uh, Wolverine was dying, and she didn't know it in this time, but he did, and he didn't tell her, and so I thought that was kind of a cool little um, storyline there. Didn't love the artwork on this one, the way they made Wolverine look, but the artwork kind of switched about this issue, um, and I guess that's because... Alphana is not on anymore, but if I look through here, Alphana stopped issue five. So maybe it was the switch after issue five where I didn't love the artwork quite as much. So seven just went one printing, so did eight. And there's Lockjaw. Nine. This is when she's discovering she's an inhuman and talking to Medusa. Ten. Another classic cover. Eleven. 12, the storyline is Loki was messing up the Valentine's dance. Kind of silly. Uh, it's 12. 13. 14. And so this is where uh, Takeshi Miyazawa came on. And I got to check it out, but he just put up a lot of his original artwork um, for sale to Miss Marvel's. And the site said it was down last night, but I'm going to check it out. This is the Women of Power variant for number 13. This is the What the Duck variant for number 14. And this next one is one of my absolute all-time favorite variants. Um, this is called the New York City variant. And I believe this is supposed to be Central Park um, overlooking one of the lakes. Uh, it's, I don't think there's a bridge that's got wooden bar barrier that overlooks a lake. So I think it's a little kind of... Um, Artist license with Central Park, but it totally evokes full time. I used to live in New York City, now I'm Tacoma Comics. I was never in New York Comics because I didn't have a YouTube channel back then. But uh, anyway, I love this cover. Coming up on the end, uh, there's the regular 15. He's got this uh, guy, he turns out to be a bad guy, but he's handsome and wonderful and parent approved, and you know, she's just swooning there and a little nervous, sort of. Um, but you know, he turns out trying to lead her astray. Now we're getting serious here. New Jersey City's, sorry, not New Jersey. Jersey City's getting destroyed, but Miss Marvel's going to save the day. Really liking that. Last Days of Miss Marvel coming up. There's 17. There's 18. And again, I love this. Uh, Bruno's thinking of a girlfriend. Miss Marvel's thinking of being on the Avengers and saving the world. Um, really kind of refreshing that like it's not always about romance and about boyfriend girlfriend but that she's got other interests um a little variant for 18 this was called the manga variant which i think is stretching it i mean my lord there's what there's um big uh big eyes there on on kamala khan but it's not very manga ish i guess and then 19 and so i'm missing a Deadpool variant, which I'll show you the cover of. That's a Secret Wars, um, not a Secret Wars cover, but in Secret Wars there is this scene where they're buried under like, you know, billions of tons of rock and the Hulk is holding it up and Reed Richards is pissing off the Hulk by insulting his intelligence and he's like, I know what you're doing, Banner, or Richard, you're trying to make me get angry or so I'm stronger. I'm not that dumb. And uh, 
And Richard's like, but it's working. So, you know, it's Deadpool tickling the Hulk. I don't particularly like variants that have nothing to do with the comic, but there you go. And the other one I'm missing is the Kirby variant. Um, I think that one's coming in the mail. I just got it off of Amazon, if I recall correctly. So there you go. Um, I'm really close to finishing my my Miss Marvel Volume Three run. I just need, like I said, the uh, the few of the printings. I need that Molina variant, which is gonna gonna be tough to get. I need the Wu, the the Kirby Monster variant, and that Deadpool variant. And then I've got every single one in that run. Um, and a whole bunch of those are going to count towards my uh, entry into Bub's uh, Comics 100 subscriber contest. So let's wrap it up here. Got testing for the little one for his uh, blue advanced blue belt today, so I got to get going. Um, thanks to everybody for watching my channel, liking my channel, subscribing to my channel. Congratulations to Bub's Comics. His uh, video is in the link to my video. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to his channel and check it out. All right, take care, guys.